little update for y'all. Um, I haven't done a video for a while. It was April of 2024 when I upgraded my 330 watt panels. There was four of them to four 545 watt panels. And it made a big difference charging my EcoFlow Delta Pro tower that I had here. And a few of you made comments about how noisy that was. And you were right. I lasted a year. I bought that in October of 2023. And I bought two extra batteries for it. Uh, it was just over 10 kilowatts of storage. But when it was charging, it sounded like a vacuum cleaner running all day long. It drove me nuts. I finally sold it. And I got this for a pretty good price. I think it was around $5,600 for the inverter and the battery right now an extra battery alone is five grand i'm waiting for them to go on sale i need an extra battery you could stack up to five of them anyway i don't have a full year's data because i changed the solar panels in april of uh last year 2024 and i went with the delta pro of 2024 right now i'm just past my solar noon by over an hour and right now we're still bringing in 1642 but in another 20 minutes that's going to drop dramatically my neighbor's tree is going to cause a bunch of shade but i have seen that hit 2400 watts lots of times this morning when i woke up it was on five percent and i already have enough charge to run my computer my tv the weather station the home stereo there's an eight port switch behind there and then there's some power cords going through the wall to feed power adapters that drop it down to 12 that feeds a DVR and three cameras. You can't see those, they're hidden. And that runs 24 seven. Only once this winter since the, the uh, December 21st, the, the solstice, that this turned off at three o'clock in the morning and I didn't get any DVR recordings, no big deal. I put it on the grid for about an hour to get it up to about 1% because you don't want these in a state of zero for too long. Anyway, I got my uh, December bill, and I forget how much it was. It was around 850 bucks, something like that. That was the bill I got in December for November. And then the bill I got in December, or in January, the beginning of January for December, I still have, I think it's a 561, 541, it's over $500 credit that I still have. And it's been a pretty mild winter. My girlfriend's in the Philippines. She's been gone a month. My boarder in the basement is house sitting. He hasn't been home for since September pretty much. He's popped in to visit a few times. So I think the power company's going to end up owing me. The next bill I get's going to be pretty low. And today was actually not too bad of a solar day. It started out really blue. So here's some data for you. 2025, January. A negative number means that I sold. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there. You can see the negative number. I sold more than I purchased from the grid. It's the first time in January. I had a few low months there. Right? But look at 2024. January isn't a record. February, that isn't a record. March, April, May, all those negative numbers, and there's almost a record. Actually, that is. July is a record. August, that's a record. That's power. Every negative number is power. Sold that month for 2024 back to the grid. And there's the grand total. For 2024, 6,086, almost two megawatt hours more I sold to the grid in 2024. And that's why I have a huge credit. It covers all of my power, the fees, the, the town franchise fees. They even pay me GST. <laughs> it covers everything, including my gas, including the administration fees, the whole bit. And right now I'm sitting on over $500. I forget what it is. 540, 560, 5 something. And I've only got one more month to go of winter. Actually, less than that. By mid February, this flip flops. As you can see, February of last year. 
I sold 118 more kilowatt hours than I purchased, and then it just climbs all year long. That's all due to the Delta Pro Ultra, and it's not making any noise. It's now, I had to do two parts because I botched the last part. It's now 4.15 p.m., and I'm only producing six, six or harvesting 66 watts from the solar array, 2,180 watts, something like that. But the TV, the PC, the weather station, the home theater lights, the DVR, the three cameras, eight port switch back there. I'm probably missing something. That's all running off of this. And I go to bed about midnight. This is going to be around anywhere from 20% to shut off. It might shut off in the middle of the night. Probably not tonight. Depends on what time I go to bed. If I stay up till 2 o'clock in the morning with all this running, and then I just fall asleep in the big chair, it'll probably just turn off. And I like it. No noise. And it's expandable. I'm waiting for the batteries. I hope I get the batteries before Trump... Um, what's that? Uh, trade war that he's going to start. Tariffs. I hope I... Get a battery before that starts because I'm going to have to pay 25% more if they add tariffs. I think. I'm not sure.